I'm recording week 11 and week 12. Okay, this would be um, this is day 22 and I'm also going to have um, Tuesday of the next week. Day um, 23. So, we uh, talk about sequential files, talk some more about arrays. Um, quiz is actually going to be Thursday of the following week. Functions and modules, parameters, and arguments. We need to review those. Next thing. This was for the other class, so we don't need to worry about that. This is for the other class. This is coming up tomorrow. And this coming up on the 20th. These two items here. So we should be uh, good. Things coming up. This will be, um, yeah, that's a Tuesday before Thanksgiving. And it's required for the programming. So this is from Thursday. We talked about files, data, another structure, sequential files. We have information stored in files line after line after line. Those lines might be broke up with, oh, I don't know, you know, they might be broken up with commas, you know, there could be information commas, or sometimes it's a space to divide the information. But we can take, and we can read that information, we can write to the files, and we can append the files. You open a file, then you close it. We also talked about modules some more. We define a function and then we call the function. Um, I use the terminology a little bit of a black box. You don't really know what's in there, okay? But you can send something in and get something out. And so we did the example where I had a couple different functions defined in this particular file. Let's take a look. So this was an example of voters. Input the age and then we had a function that checked the age, make sure it was um, in between some particular range. And if it wasn't, it just left them out. We create a list, then we said, can they vote in the list? And we called another function that checked to see if that age was, um, you know, greater than 18. And then I had less than 120 or something like there was a maximum age. But then we had another function do that. <laughs> And those examples are in that directory. We said the same thing. Math can be like a black box. We send something in and we get the results out. And the coding is already there. What you will find, we can import the information we need and then use it in our code. Okay, this is day 23. <laughs> We're on week 12. It's Tuesday. Tech talk tomorrow. Tech den next Tuesday. Gaming and Blender. Tomorrow's artificial intelligence. 
I reviewed a little bit about the black box. We can define functions and then call them up in separate code. We did some more sequential file, talked a little bit about modules, quiz this Thursday coming up on arrays, and then we did some work. File access, common separated file. Wasn't a whole lot today. We did some file access common separated file. We declared variables, we declared the array, we can declare variables <coughs> in which you indicate you know, what a variable is going to be and what size and so forth. We talked a little bit about that and then the only other thing we had was a split function where you could give it uh, you can give it a list actually you can give it um, read some information and then it will it will split it based on some, param some parameter that we have for example um, you can um, you can split and we use an example with a comma and so it would take that line line of information you read in from the file and it'll split it and it'll split it into a you can actually store it in a list I did an example with uh, United States and then there was a uh, program file that um, I used to access it, and it was called states. Let's see if I can get the spelling right. States.py. So, this was an example of using the split, and this is in that group directory class 2018 GRP. And that's, you would have to go home slash class. Well, and that's it.